Okay, we play a little game of If You Only Knew. Okay. Strangest fan encounter. Uh, strangest fan encounter. Um, you know, I, I don't know. A guy, like, a guy came up to me in, in, a, in a yogurt shop when I was doing The Shield, and I was playing this guy, Shane Vendrell, who was pretty shady and in a lot of pain, and, and he kept looking at me, and he saddled up beside me as I was trying to order my vanilla yogurt and, uh, and said, uh, you know, my name is Shane. And I said, oh. And he said, well, you play Shane. And I said, yeah. I, and he said, I'm a lot like you. I think we should hang out. And I, I, I don't think I'm anything like you, man. And I don't think we should hang out. <laughs> Biggest splurge. Art. You know, I've been, I've been collecting. Yeah, I do. I've been collecting uh, artwork for, I don't know, 15, 15 years when I, when I had no, no money to, uh, to being able to get some nice pieces. I, Where do you live? I live here in, in Hollywood, up in the hills. Married? Yeah, I am married, yeah, I have a, a seven-year-old son. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Most prized possession? My son. Nothing like it? Nothing. Someone you'd trade places with for a day? When I say a, a, maybe a, a war photographer, you know, um, just to, to, to see that up close and personal. I like taking pictures and... Um, you like being in the action? I do like being in the action, yeah, yeah. You're and, they're, and they're empathetic eye, you know, oh, yeah. and, uh, that, that really moves me. You're stranded on a desert island. What three things do you bring with you? Uh, 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 an entire collection of uh, Bob Dylan uh, <laughs> CDs and, uh, and some uh, uh, Mexican food, as much Mexican food as I can fit in my, in my, in my backpack, and uh, probably a fishing pole so I could continue to eat. Person from history you'd like to portray on screen? Oh, wow. You know, uh, J Jim Jones. Uh, it's been done before, and it's been done really, really well, but, mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I think there's a new version of that. I, 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 there, are, there are a couple... You know, I'd like, I'd like to, to take a stab at George Wallace. Um, and, uh, and there's a... Um, oh, my God, because we're having this conversation right now, I shouldn't even bring it up, but there was a political operative that worked for the first... Uh, they got George Bush Sr. elected... And his name is escaping me because I'm Lee, talking, uh, Lee, uh, Lee, Lee Russell. Yes, wait a minute. I no, no, him. no, 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 Lee, Russell. Lee um, uh, uh, you know I, who I'm I knew him about. very well. I Did went you? to dinner with him. He was, at the end of his life, he yeah. apologized for the things he had to do. Yeah, yeah. Running neck. He came up with the whole Willie Horton. Yes, the, he did, yeah. But Lee uh, Atwood. Lee Atwater. Yeah, I would, Lee I would love to play Lee Atwater. At the end of his life, apologized for what he was doing. He got a brain tumor one day and... He was very young. Yeah. He was like a yeah. Batman villain. Yeah, he was. <laughs> well, there you go. See, then, then that's perfect for me. Best piece, of for me. best piece of advice you ever received? Uh, probably when you're cutting something to put the blade away from you. <laughs> worst piece of advice you ever received? Uh, worst uh, piece of advice I've ever received. Oh, um, Don't God, go I, to Hollywood. You'll never amount to anything. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I never, I never received that. No? No, no, no. The people in my, in my life, in my circle, were always kind of supportive in that way. Last time you cried? Oh, God. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, my little boy got all of his hair cut off, and I looked at him, and... And I just saw, like, a side of him that I had never seen before. And all of a sudden, the things that I knew, the quirks in his personality, took on a whole new light. And it was extraordinary. I remember my boy's haircuts. Yeah. It's a, it is a difficult day. Oh, yeah. Who or what inspires you on a daily basis? Well, then I would have to look at something or read something daily. Um, so outside of my, my, my child, right, uh, which would be number one, I, I think it's... It's um, uh, music, musicians, you know, listening to music. Place we find you on a day off? On a hike or at the, at the gym doing some kind of uh, exercise. But if I'm if I, if I am on location, uh, then you would find me with my camera. If not acting, then what? Photography. Or, no, you know what? You know what? No, if, I, if not acting for me, if I had my, if I could do anything, I would, I would have a travel show. Yeah, I would, I would have a, I, I enjoy it immensely. I enjoy uh, walking in, in places that I've never been before and meeting people that I've never seen and met before and talking to them, so I, I would do that. Is there a role you regret turning down? I got offered Napoleon Dynamite, you know, <laughs> just to play Uncle Rico, uh, because I just worked with uh, the director doing this little short film before he was a director. That would have been fun, but the actor that played it was wonderful. Who was your childhood celebrity crush? Childhood celebrity. I, I love Red Fox. 
you know, <laughs> Sanford Son. I grew up watching Sanford Son, 735. Oh, it's the big yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it made me, uh, he made me laugh and, and filled me with so one much happiness. One of the happiness. funniest men who ever lived. Oh, there you go. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.